four. This is phase four. Thank you. Now, there's a lot of other stuff we didn't get a chance to talk about today. We, we didn't even mention they were making Black Panther 2. We didn't, we didn't mention the fact that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is coming. We didn't have time to talk about Captain Marvel 2. I didn't even have time. time. There's no time left to talk about mutants. All that stuff's been rumored, you've heard about rumors. But I want to leave you today with one more thing that I don't think has been rumored about. Ladies and gentlemen, two-time Academy Award winner, Mahershala Ali. You did? What is that? So, I want you guys to ask yourself, what did I just look at? You hear me? I want you to ask yourself, what did I just see? Did I see, uh, did I see Marshala Ali get, get a job, you know? Did I see Marshala Ali get a job as the Marvel Comics character Blade? You know, originated by Wesley Snipes, of course. Classic interpretation. Um, did you see it? Did you see what was done right there? Did you see what Kevin Feige did? Alright, if you didn't see it, I'm going to break it down for you, okay? So, let's all put our tinfoil koofies on. And, uh, let's dig in. Because I just want to talk about this, you know. I need to talk about this after I looked at the trailer for Wakanda Forever uh, the previous day. It's Sunday where I'm at in the shy. That's all I feel like offering and whatnot because I'm a little serious about this. You know? But you see, uh, black people historically have been used for uh, many different litmus tests and whatnot, social experiments, you know, over the centuries, you know, they, they roll everything out in our fucking society first and whatnot, because we supposedly sit at the bottom of it, the bottom of the barrel, which is uh, America, three K's and set, all right, so, you know, back in the day, a couple years ago, when they introduced Marshall Ali is, is the new blade, right? They had a bunch of, you know, they had a bunch of material coming out for their Disney Plus channel. You know, in the movies and whatnot, I think it was Black Widow was one of them, and other ones was that Shang-Chi movie. Um, they had a bunch of stuff, right? And it, it had identity politics in it. It was just in, in the undated, full of identity politics, and that's what I'm saying when they intersectionalism, uh, feminism, uh, you know, black feminism, you know, you name it, right? So, no, they know, you know, Kevin Feige knew that a lot of people would probably be upset with uh, the movies that they had coming out, you know, after Endgame, you know, after the legend that is Endgame. He knew they'd be upset because he had a bunch of, like, woke, and I hate saying that, Woke doesn't mean, you know, when they say it, it, it refers to us in some regard, whether we like it or not, whether, no matter where we stand politically, socially, economically. Uh, they, a lot of people use woke to, you know, use as a blanket term for black people, okay? Let's just be honest. You know, they say people of color and shit, and that's a blanket term to avoid saying black people and shit, all right? As we all know, right? 
So, you know, a lot of times black people are used like what I call socially in the social capacity. We use as human shields so that people with alternative interests can push their agenda and whatnot. And uh, the reason, you know, I say, you know, black people are used as human shields is because if you roll out a black, you attach a black person to your uh, political agenda, then if someone goes against it, you can call them a racist. All right, you can uh, push the narrative that this person is narrow-minded and a racist and shit. And, uh, you know, I don't have a political affiliation beforehand. I'm not a conservative. I'm not, uh, I guess, a liberal. You know, they're both wings of the same diseased bird. That's the symbol of this goddamn pirate country. You know? So, let's get back to Marshall Ali, right? Alright, they had a bunch of shitty movies coming out. They knew they were shit movies. Like, straight up shit. Chock full of identity politics. From the uh, feminism and the alphabet community and shit. To some degree and shit. Increasing degree, actually. You know, they knew that shit was coming out. So they didn't want anybody to really, like, go in on them and shit. Like, talk shit after they had just had a movie with all this shit. Go down with all the superheroes fighting Thanos and all that bullshit. They knew they had a shit line up. And they were directionless, right? So they pulled the left-wing bullshit. They pulled this left-wing move that is making... It's, it's done on a daily basis. It's starting to make me sick as fuck. Right? Uh, they put Marshall and Lee's house out there as a human shield, you know. That's why he got the job as Blade. Not because uh, he actually qualified for the fucking job. I mean, the man looked like Wesley Snipes in, in a movie that I saw done by Robert Rodriguez. He looked just like Wesley Snipes in that movie. He was dressed like him. But he's no Wesley Snipes, okay? And they know it, okay? If they do a regular audition, he wouldn't. he shouldn't be in the equation because of his advanced age. He might be in my uh, age group. But uh, Marshall Ali was used as a human shield to shield them from, uh, you know, reproach, you know. From people making complaints or talking about the lineup, you know, in depth. Or really going in on them and shit. If you did that, then they could just use our Marshall Ali attached to their agenda and say you are a racist. And, and, and uh, you know, protect themselves and shit. By, by doing a shitty, underhanded thing, like using a black person as a human shield. And the reason I say that's shitty is because, as you well know, the country refuses to identi verbally identify us, um, especially during the Biden administration. They refuse to verbally identify us by name, saying the, you know, black people, you know, African American, like they like, love that shit. But I, me personally, I'm black, you know. So, Marshall Ali was a fucking, you know, he was a plant. You know, he just came in as an employee. Then he worked out some shitty routine and shit, like where he would pull the hat out and put it on his head. And you can look at the logo and tell it's some cheap on the fly shit. And a lot of people just miss this. It just goes over their head. Even if they kind of talk about what I'm talking about right now, you know, the, uh, you know, the shittiness, the, the the underhanded and dastardly practice of using my people, our people, as human shields for your fucking agenda, agenda which uh, always, you know, mostly but not always, you know, always includes uh, intersectional feminism and shit, uh, black feminism, black female toxic misandry, um... The alphabet community, I mean the gay community and all its categories and shit, for those who get pissed off. I'm not misgendering nobody, am I? You know, apologies all about from one and battered ethnic group to another, you know, who who habitually uh, take advantage of our interests too, you know, to get what they wanted. Ask Obama. Yeah, sorry for the word salad right there. So, Marshall Ali was used as a human motherfucking shield to protect the ass. And here we are in 2022, years later, and I've seen them do the same thing again. But they've been doing it for a while. But they did it when they when Chadwick Boseman died from cancer. God, rest in power. When he died from cancer, they decided not to recast this character you know, out of respect for his portrayal of the character, but he is an actor. He is an actor. He is not 
the Black Panther, okay? He portrays that character in a few films, but he's not the character. Well, not. And like, a lot of people argued that it was crucial that we have that character, that they recast the character. But Kevin Feige, and I, you know, he said he talked it over with Ryan Coogler. I don't really believe that. I believe he put his finger in Ryan Coogler's face and told him he wasn't recasting the shit. Because when they did the original Black Panther, they did not expect it to be as successful as it was. Right? They did not expect it to make a billion dollars, but it did. And that shook them and whatnot. And then they waffled for years. You know, you could say Chadwick Boseman was in uh, treatment for cancer. I don't know if he was or wasn't it, like right after he did Black Panther. Because he had a bunch of other movies that he had done for Spike Lee and a couple other places. And I'm like, like, why did they wait so long to shoot a sequel to Black Panther? Why did they wait so fucking long? They shit out sequels ad nauseum. You know, they did a bunch of these shitty Spider-Man movies over there at Sony. And they couldn't have shit it out. One, they couldn't have gave us another Black Panther movie quick once they knew it made a billion dollars. Ask yourself that. Why would a big multi, you know, a big company like Disney, you know, a global company, all right? Why would they sit on a money-making idea, you know? Something they knew was a proven money-maker, especially uh, cheap dollars from the black community, supposedly. You know? Well, I, I go to the trading places argument of things and whatnot. When they were making the original Black Panther, a bunch of, you know, racist suits were probably sitting around and betting each other like a dollar or something that Black Panther wouldn't, wouldn't make any money. It would just be a... You know, make the you know middling success. You know, it'd be like a, uh, make some shit like what Ant Man made or something. You know, both of the Ant Man movies. You know, or or Iron Man three or something. You know, whatever the lowest Marvel movie is, Miss Marvel made her do some shit like that, right? <laughs> so after that movie came out, everybody had to hit a pass. You just got to see so many fucking races. It make me sick. It made me sick to my guts how people were just coming out at the movie. Yeah, the movie had plot holes and all this shit in. But a bunch of Marvel movies had plot holes in it. And you just saw people like going, going after the movie, gutting it and shit. And it made me sick because it reminded me of 1998 when Blade came out. They went out of their way. After the movie proved to be a moneymaker. The actual movie that started the Marvel juggernaut, you know, going. Because the movie came out and made like almost $100 million. Like that original Blade movie. And they were going on a way to say like, uh, oh, it's just a regular action movie. It's not really a superhero movie. And it has problems and blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, when Black Panther came out, they were saying the same fucking things and shit. And, uh, you know, it just pisses me off because whenever black people have, uh, they demonstrate excellence. You know, whenever they, because Ryan Coogler did a hell of a job on Black Panther, man. That shit, you know, despite its obvious plot holes and shit, and some situations, you know, some stuff in the movie. Despite that, uh, this guy did a hell of a job, man. And uh, he should be able to write his own check in Hollywood, but I, I don't think he can. They uh, got him attached to the sequel and shit, and he was fucking around with that. You know what, and, you know, while Chadwick Boseman was going through his, uh, his chemo, I guess. You know, but I don't think he was going through that at the time, right after Black Panther. They could have fast-tracked a, a sequel. They could have fast tracked the sequel. But no, they was like shook, right? Because they fucked up accident. There are not supposed to be any decent black male characters on screen. In any capacity. That's part of propaganda to keep us broke down as a people and shit. I, I know how it sounds. But I, I'm so upset after looking at that trailer that I have to talk about this. You know, I try to avoid talking about it, but I have to. Uh, straight black men. Straight black men without... My usual issues are being erased from media, okay? They're trying to erase us from view. They're trying to bury us. And they, you know, well, they're using, they're using black women to do that, okay? Because every time you turn around, roles that would normally be occupied by a man, you see a, a woman in there. And a lot of people are, let's not fuck around, you know? Yeah, this is feminist ide ideology and shit. This is feminist, but really it's just part of the dominant uh, idea to, to keep us, you know, suppressed. There must be no decent representation of a black male 
in any capacity. So what they give you, they give you uh, gay men, they give you uh, beta males, and they give you they give you guys that are just androgynous, that are the uh, the eunuchs and shit, the visual eunuchs. Those are black guys that are just there, you know. They don't do shit, you know. They just they just background furniture and shit. And we all know what the gay male thing is, right? That's gonna be an over exaggeration and shit. It's like when you see a lot of people with these fucking dresses on. You know, a Tyler Perry type shit. And then you got the gay men. They're just really pushing gay stuff. Where you have to see, like, you know, they're talking about gay kisses and all this shit. And, they, you know, don't listen to the gay bullshit line about representation when they had a, a fucking HBO show called Queer's Folk. And they had gay movies back in the 80s. They had a gay movie called fucking Making Love and shit with two white dudes in love. And one white dude was trying to get out divorce his wife so he could run away with his boyfriend and shit. They've been had gay movies. Up the ass. They had tons of gay fucking movies. Gods and Monsters. Uh, Brokeback Mountain and shit, you know. This fucking Moonlight and shit, you know. But they have to push that in our communities. They want our kids to be fucked up and shit, okay. I'm not going to support Black Panther 2. Alright, I was upset by... You know what Ryan Coogler did and shit. I think Ryan Coogler should have uh, deferred that job to somewhere else and took his chances and shit. I'd have been like, man, I'm not doing that shit. He's a man too. He got children. Don't he know what he was fucking doing and shit? You know, I gotta call him on the carpet here. When I look at the trailer for Wakanda Forever and shit, I can't call it Black Panther too. Even though I seen what looked like a female wearing a Black Panther costume at the end of it. We'll get back to that later. When you look at the trailer for Black Panther 2, compared to the trailer for fucking Black Panther, there's a glaring difference, okay? You can see that, like, after that first Black Panther was successful, those small heads sat around and they said, we, gotta, we can't let them do this shit. We gotta fuck that shit up. It's the same shit they did to Blade, you know, by the third movie and shit. He did the first two movies, they were successful, and then they purposely supplanted Wesley Snipes' authority and, and produced a, a purposely shitty version of the movie and shit. As written by David Boyer himself, you know, unfortunately I have to say a small hat and shit. A gay small hat, okay? You think he'd be more in line with, you know, our po you know, the politics that they grafted themselves onto the black community for and shit. But nope. When push comes to shove, that part of uh, the dominant society, uh, they they get on cold with white people and shit, okay? And so here we are today. Uh, I looked at Wakanda Fever. I looked at that trailer. And, you know, in contrast to the other one, I the other one was culturally balanced and everything with the Afro-futuristic uh, elements and everything. Then when I look at this new one, man, you know, it's more gaslighting. You know, it's more gaslighting and shit. And there's like one, one shot of a mural of Chadwick Boseman's face in there. But mostly you see uh, Wakanda that is now populated by 80% women. That's all you see is women. You don't see hardly any males in the, in the fucking trail. I think I can count on one hand the males that you saw. One of them included the Clark Duke. Uh, then he had some kind of funeral or wedding scene. And if you pause it and look right at it, you'll see, like, uh, a bunch of gay black men dancing around in there and shit. Like, obviously, and, like, it's, it's so glaring because, like, one of the dudes is, like, light-skinned and shit. And you didn't see no light-skinned dudes. It was mostly dark-skinned people in Wakanda in the first movie. But now I looked and they had this, you know, if you look real close, you'll see this light-skinned motherfucker dancing with, like, a, a feathery wig on or, like, some kind of hat and shit. And then when the, the little scene starts, there's a gay dude off to the far right of this thing. You can look at his face because he got that shit where, you know, it would piss me off as a director, but he's purposely making, like, a face that, like, normal people would assume, like, that's a gay person. He's doing that thing where his mouth is hanging open. He got, like, the, you know, his nose scrunched up. I'm like, man, fuck you. That shit made me so angry because I knew that as a straight black man, even if I talk shit, like, right now, a lot of people listening to this are going to call me some kind of homophobe or some shit. And I, I say fuck your, f 
fuck your opinion if, if that's the case or whatnot. I have the right to say that, okay? I have right a lot of over the hundreds of motherfucking years, a lot of people uh, ate off the black community and got set aside some benefits and shit while we sunk to the bottom of the barrel where you guys take your fucking your whole leg and stuff it in that barrel and stomp on us and shit every fucking day and I'm just I'm tired of taking it and shit. Even in my motherfucking entertainment, if you read George Orwell's nineteen eighty four, they refer to people like me of uh, uh black people and other people of lower classes as proletariats and shit. But the difference in the book is that they 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 uh, kept the people asleep with, with entertainment and sports and all this shit, which much like they do today. But it's like uh, they've lost the art of doing that. I'm not cl complaining about being awake awakened. All right, I'm not fucking woke. If you use that as a derogatory racial term, it's specifically to target straight black men who are being uh, made invisible in, in lieu of women. Like when I say women, when I say women. It's not just, it's a certain kind of woman shit, okay? You're getting these masculinized women, right? Getting really masculine women or outright, uh, you know, I hate to say it, butch les lesbians and shit, you know, like stud lesbians as they like to call it. I've seen that a bunch of times and then most of the propaganda media, if they show a black man, he's in the female role now. You know, I saw a thing where a woman was working on a car and a black dude came out there like standing there watching her fix the car and shit. Well, I think it was a. It might be another one with a grill. The shit was doing the grill, and the guy was standing there waiting to cook and shit. You know, some other crap. You know, and they should show one where two people are in their house, and you see a black woman working on her car, and uh, the, and she has a white neighbor, and the neighbor says something, and she just waves at him with a disparaging when she does her best imitation of red man, uh, no, no, method man in the face. I'm just tired of this shit. They, Kevin Feige knew, he knew that no, under normal circumstances, ain't no way in the hell, he would not have recast Chadwick Boseman's character, alright, but they have to keep us down, they have, they can't let that happen again, every time we get a little sliver of something, they try to come in and stomp it out, like they did with the original Blade, and a couple other things that they put out, I'm surprised they let Jordan Peele make his movie and shit. But he's, uh, you know, he's biracial. You know, he's biracial. And I'm tired of looking at fucking Daniel Kaluuya's monkey ass anyway. You know, fuck that guy. Because uh, I'm mad because he played Chris Hampton. He looked nothing like the fucking character. And I don't give a shit. You can't tell me nothing about that. It's pretty fucked up, okay? We're, we're pretty fucked up as far as the propaganda goes. And I'm glad we, you know, my younger son, like, prefers to do outdoors things and all this shit. I was a latchkey kid. That's why I'm hitting hard on this shit. It hits me where I live to see black men erased. All right? And if they do, the only thing you're allowed to do in entertainment as a black person, a street black man, is be a eunuch and shit, a buffoon, wear a fucking dress and shit, you know, be the uh, asexual friend of some shit. And if you're going to be in a relationship, you're going to be in a relationship with a like a white woman and shit, you know, I don't really trip on that that much, but it, like, you, they're going to show you in a relationship with a white woman in a, a subservient, uh, visually subservient role. Even if they show black people as a couple, the black man's going to take a back door to that shit. And I know a lot of you black women think that's cool and shit, and I don't give a fuck, okay? I'm tired of seeing the proliferation of black female characters that ain't worth a shit. They're not even giving us decent black female characters. And even the Star Wars recently, they had a black woman, you know, wearing a Darth Vader suit with her head out. She had like some fucking dookie braid weaves and shit. I'm like, well, how the fuck, how the fuck does this bitch have like a Compton hairdo in the future and she's wearing like a Darth Vader robot suit with her fucking head out. And then when the white man, when she had to fight the white man, he whooped the ass. He cleaned up and shit. But everybody else, she's going around fucking with him, acting like a man, you know, with a fucking really shitty uh, sounding voice, you know. They didn't do shit with this woman. They fucked this woman's... They typecast this woman's career and fucked her up with this shit. Alright? A lot of you, you know, not gonna get what I'm saying. It's gonna go over your fucking head. Not, you know, ain't nothing I can tell you or shit. Alright? It's propaganda. They're erasing black men from, uh, you know, from media. They're scrubbing us and shit. And they're giving you shitty, 
alternatives, okay? They're giving shitty homogenized replacements of black men, of black people and shit by proxy. And then fucking women that think this is funny and you want to drag me or something. Hey, bitches. You like being presented as hyper-masculine and shit? You like being presented as that shit, you know? Like uh, Viola Davis recently in that Woman King movie with her gut, her fat old ass. And she got her gut hanging out. You don't see Morgan Freeman doing no shit like that. Or then Larry Fishburne walk around doing some embarrassing looking shit. Like Viola Davis motherfucking ass doing the, the Woman King. You know, maybe she won't make her door a Malaje movie. And I'm just saying, bitch, you didn't even... Two white women wrote the fucking... Two white women wrote the fucking movie. Two white women who don't know shit about the black experience, or much much less the African experience. They wrote the fucking movie. They got a, a, a probably a closeted lesbian. I'm just going to call that female. I don't care if she's married to a dude with kids. That's what I feel. The closeted... You know, female feminist director. You know, she's a feminist. You know, directing the shit, and they fail to notice or even do basic research, other than you know, just you know, certain points. But the the Amazons and the women king were slavers of black people. Okay, slavers. They were used, and you know, Marshal Ali was a human shield. He was a human shield for identity politics and then agenda shit. And now we see the culmination of some of that in his trailer for Black Panther 2. And it makes me sick, man. Now, I'm just going to burn all my fucking comic books and shit that I had. I'm going to burn all that shit, what I have left. Because, uh, you know, fuck it, man. The first rule of entertainment is give people what they want. 